let's talk about local SEO strategies to supersize to grow your business. Sharon Hornell from here. And I do a lot with SEO, but nothing like my amazing online friend, Damon Burton. He is the king. I consider him the king of SEO. And I can almost never talk about the topic without him being top of mind. And I'm thinking, all right, well, is this something Damon would recommend because I recommend it? Or am I recommending it because Damon does, but I don't actually use it? I haven't found anything yet that's that's true of that second statement. So let's talk about local SEO. Say you're an online internet business only. You might be thinking, well, why do I want to have or do anything with local SEO? Why do I even care about this topic? Now, if you're a physic, if you have a physical location, if you're an on offline business, I think you know why I would say do local SEO. You want to get people coming into your business. You want them to be calling, inquiring. But before they do that, nowadays times have changed and we have entered a digital age, a digital world, and, and in, we're past the information age, and now we're to the attention age, meaning you have to do something to get people's attention or they're not even going to notice you or find you at all, even if you're right next door. Uh, so there's some strategies that you can implement in your business right now, whether you're an online or an offline business, especially if you're an offline business with a physical location, make sure you're doing these things. And if you're not and you need help, ask. Either I will help you or I'll refer you to somebody that can because it's that important. It's also that powerful. Local business SEO, I've seen it bump hundreds of percentage points in terms of visitors to websites, visitors to the business themselves. We actually track that. If you, somebody's got a physical location, we keep track of where did they hear about us, why and how, and we find out that 80% of the time it's coming from the local SEO work that we've done and the local promotion and tie-ins that we've done using one or all of these particular strategies. I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover them pretty quickly, otherwise I talk too long. First one, optimize your Google for business or Google My Business site, GMB. Optimize that. This is critical. And it just happened this week. My daughter was looking up something and the hours and the, the dates of operation, whether it was open or not, were all wrong. Guess what? If my daughter and pretty soon I am going first to the internet to look and see if a business is open and it was a local, a local business uh, and the information isn't right, guess what? We find that very frustrating. And if we get frustrated, what does a frustrated or confused mind say? We say, no, stop. I'll find someone else. So make sure that your Google My Business is up-to-date, accurate. Phone number, website, uh, address, hours of operation, uh, any other pertinent information that people need to know and should know immediately. Because when they, when they looked you up, when we looked that business up, we wanted to go there right now. And... We went there and found out that they weren't open. So uh, we had to find another solution to our problem. Guess what? People won't do that very often. Uh, normally, we wouldn't do that. But we trusted the information online, which is, of course, fire beware, make a mistake in the first place. But it also gave me a great story and a great lesson to say, hey, make sure your stuff's up to date and accurate. Now, this is the pot calling the kettle black because I know I have a whole lot of stuff out in the, the digital world. That is not up to date, is not accurate, links aren't working, et cetera. Uh, but it reminds me that I need to go and fix all that too, or get somebody to fix it for me because I probably am not going to. I'm having some eye challenges. Second important strategy that we want to make sure that we are using. So make sure your Google My Business is up to date, accurate, and speaks to what your ideal customer wants, right? We can speak to everybody and not see anybody or not get anybody, or we can pick the perfect ideal person we want to work with. And how we say things, what we do will attract that ideal client. Secondly, we want to target local keywords. Keyword research is still really important. It's actually really easy because you can just tie in a local word to, uh, make it a local SEO term, and you can usually pay less for that word if you're doing paid advertising, et cetera. But just for overall SEO, the search engines like local and specific information. So they will tend to favor that, and you will rank higher in the local area if you're doing local targeting, and if you do a couple of these other strategies that I'm going to share, uh, than if you're just out there in the whole World Wide Web. Why? Because instead of competing with billions and billions and billions of entities, you're only competing with those that are in your local area. And that's always a lot easier to do than competing with everything and everybody in the world. 
uh, thirdly, and so what do we, we want to target keywords and, and I'm not going to talk about this in detail, but with buyer intent, with the intent to search out, get information and buy, what questions are they asking? What pain points do they have? We want to speak in that language and our keywords help us do that. We want to make sure we put those keywords sprinkled about our website in the content we create, in our metadata, in our titles, et cetera, in our, if we've got it in our web name, that's all the better. Uh, but again, that's a whole different strategy, buying up different local keyword SEO dot coms or dot whatever you prefer. Uh, that next we want to create local specific content, right? We want to make sure that people know that we are a part of the local community because then they know I can trust us more. We come off as more authentic because we are more authentic. I would say, if you've never done anything with local marketing, start where you live. Start in your own current local market. Number one, because you know the most about that market. Uh, and then if you choose to expand out to other markets, do your research and make sure you're creating local content that makes sense for what your business is, for what you're offering, for your audience, etc. cetera. Uh, so we want to create local related content, right? Support local events. Uh, Publicize and share local happenings, local heroes, local, again, whatever makes sense that your audience would be interested in, share that type of content with them. Also, as always, mix up your content, the type of content, test and tweak uh, the type of content that you share. Maybe you do videos, maybe you do blog posts, maybe you do audios, maybe you do articles, maybe you cross promote with podcasters, whatever it is, make sure you're bringing your local tie in. Uh, and then, of course, using your local SEO keywords to promote and share that information. Uh, the next thing you want to do is build references and notes or citations about your organization in as many places as you possibly can, especially on the local level. Uh, a citation is just a mention of your business name, your address, your phone number, and any detailed information about or any specific information about your business. You want to have as many places that you appear as possible. Uh, so if there's, uh, with respect to your business, if there are, I can't think of the word right now, uh, doc, well, website, your website and other websites, of course, but also uh, directories, geez, I couldn't remember, directories and reviews, directories and reviews, you want to have a listing in as many of those as possible, especially the ones that your ideal customers might belong to or that are particularly pertinent to your business or your local area. Uh, and then we want to make sure that we are using the power of online reviews. Now this is, can be a catch 22. If you are a great company and you provide great service, chances are you will get better reviews than if you're a meh company and you get people mad and you don't treat them like they're important to you. So it is critical that you have positive reviews. Another story about my daughter. She's looking for a doctor this week. And the doctor she's got an appointment with has a 1.8 rating and since 2012 or 13 or something. And a 1.8 rating out of five isn't very good when you're putting your health in someone's hands. But again, it's just information. It's other people's information. We always need to judge for ourselves. But get yourself on Google. Get yourself on Yelp. Get yourself on Facebook and other social media platforms, LinkedIn, whatever is appropriate for your business. And then make sure that when people comment, respond, ask questions, you are engaging them in a timely manner. Also, a little bit about positive and negative feedback. I suspect uh, if you've been in business long enough, you've had to deal with both. Deal with both in a professional, polite, kind manner. I just say treat people the way you would want to be treated and you should be okay. Uh, but make sure you're engaging and, and doing that in a timely manner. Again, an area I could sometimes improve in. And then finally, model what others are doing well, don't model what people are doing badly. There are so many people that model what people are doing badly online. It is just kind of mind blowing. So don't do that. Model, find people that are getting great results and doing something well from your industry or another, and then model that and test and tweak and try that out in your local market. That's how a lot of businesses supersize. They start in a small local market, they explode, and then they expand out to others. I think Russell Brunson calls it taking the show on the road. You got that from, from acting and 
the theater and comedians because that's what they do. They practice, 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 perfect their show. Then they take it on the road and they're continually, I love comedy because of this. They're always testing and tweaking and improving what they do based on customer feedback, based on the number of laughs they get or the reactions that they get from the audience. Exactly what we want to be doing as we grow and build and supersize our business. So love to know, have you done or are you doing any local SEO? Damon, I'm pretty sure you are. You don't need to answer if you don't want. All right. Have an awesome day, everybody. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.